Hello dear students, so I am here again to teach you how the Rothra's test is being done. I will demonstrate you by doing this test. But first of all, you must know that why this Rothra's test is being done. So Rothra's test is being done to assess the presence or absence of ketone body in the urine. It's a qualitative test which assesses the ketone body in the urine. Now when we say ketone body, we have three ketone bodies, right? One is acetone, another is acetoacetic acid and third is beta hydroxybutyrate. So beta hydroxybutyrate is having hydroxyl group, it's not having keto group, but acetone and acetoacetic acid is having the keto group. So for this test, you need to have a keto group. So the acetone and acetoacetic acid only is going to give you this test positive, beta hydroxybutyrate is not going to give you this test positive. And paradoxically, in urine, the predominant ketone body is only beta hydroxybutyrate. But that is not going to give you this Rothra's positive, right? Because you need to have keto group in the ketone body to give you this test positive. Now, the you know the ketone body is produced in conditions like starvation and diabetes mellitus. So, why ketone body is produced? Ketone bodies are synthesized in the body in the liver mitochondria. So for that, you need to have fatty acid beta oxidation. So in condition of starvation and diabetes mellitus, you have lack of insulin. And due to this, glucagon takes upper hand and phosphorylates hormone sensitive lipase enzyme of the cell, which does the lipolysis of a stored triacylglycerol, releasing the fatty acid into the blood circulation. And that fatty acid will undergo beta oxidation in liver in adequate excess quantity. Then you have formation of ketone. So the underlying mechanism of ketogenesis is lack of insulin, lack of insulin, which is there in the diabetes, which is there in the starvation. So these two conditions we get to have ketone body. And the acetone, this is volatile, this comes out in the breath, giving the protein odor to the breath. It is not adequately found in the plasma or urine. And uh, beta hydroxybutyrate, this is the predominant ketone body. So you must know two, three points like the precursor ketone body is acetoacetate. But the predominant ketone body in the plasma or any biological fluid is going to be beta hydroxybutyrate. Acetone is not adequately there because it is exceeded in the breath, giving a fruity odor to the breath. Alright, so with this much of information, let's go and see how this ketone body assess, uh, analysis, qualitative analysis is being done in the urine. So for this Rothers test, you need following material. One is ammonium sulfate, another is sodium nitroposide. Then you need ammonia reagent. And of course, the urine which is to be tested for it. So take a clean test tube and uh, just hold it with a test tube holder because you are going to use so many chemicals, it should not fall on your skin. Right. I'm not using gloves because this is the artificial urine which I have prepared. So now 5 ml of urine is taken in the test tube with the help of a glass pipette like this, right? So 5 ml of urine is taken, you see this is 5 ml of urine which is taken. Now this urine is to be saturated with ammonium sulfate. The role of ammonium sulfate in this test is to precipitate the protein if any in this urine solution because see the protein interferes with this test. So you need to precipitate the protein in this test. This is called salting out. By using salting out method, you are going to precipitate the protein. So that is possible only when you put a lot of ammonium sulfate to saturate the urine. So now you see, it is ammonium sulfate which is added in this to precipitate the protein if any. Because if the patient is having nephropathy also and protein is lost, that protein will interfere with this test. So you have to sediment that protein at the bottom of the test tube. After this, you just have to add freshly prepared. 2% sodium nitroprusside, 2 or 3 drops at the max in the test tube, right, like this. And don't shake the test tube because now you see you're going to pour the ammonia from the side of the tube. You can use 1 ml aprox ammonia. Don't pour much because this will, the ring will diffuse. So just half ml. 0.75 ml of ammonia if you use that will be sufficient you know for this test and then you leave it in a test tube bag and wait for a minute don't shake the tube just wait for a minute time you will see that after a minute time 
a ring will be formed at the junction of two layer that is ammonia and sodium nitroxide and finally you get to have this kind of ring formation which you can appreciate what color is this this is violet color or purple color right it is why you remember this is the exact color of the ring which is to be formed to say that ketone body is present in the urine all right so this is the rothras test you understand so very simple test so hardly takes one minute time and few reactions right so thank you very much